Hey, how's it going everybody? Hey, I want to tell you about some testing that I'm doing right now using the Watt node and some new software that we're, re that we're releasing geared towards uh, Hawaii and the HECO. Uh, one of the things that we've been trying to do is we for quite a while wanted to be able to expedite power to the, to the main panel, but we need to be conservative that we're not expediting power to the utility. You know, the same thing within California, even if you have a, if you don't have an interconnect agreement, you can't, you can't sell that power back to the grid without the proper authorization. So what this feature is going to allow us to do using the watt node is it's going to allow us to uh, do utility offset both after the inverter by carrying those loads and doing load shaving. But we're also now going to be able to expedite power to the main panel. And by using the CTs and the watt node, we're going to be able to make sure that we're not expediting power, allowing you to capture more energy uh, without sending power to the grid until you need to go into a nighttime where you're working off those batteries. Let me show you what we got. Okay, so this is the watt node made by Continental Control Systems. Now we got a few things going on here. Um, down in the lower left corner, this is the Modbus connection that's running back to your gateway. This is allowing the, the data that's coming off the CTs to come through and be registered and send that data back so that the XW Pro knows that it needs to regulate its power output output for zero cell. Um, this is a pretty easy device. There's only really three uh, three different sets of connections to hook up. We have our, our Modbus, our CTs, which are over there, and then we have our utility uh, voltage coming into the system. Um, pretty easy to program with the dip switches. As you see the, the red and the green lights flashing, that's the different flow of the power going back and forth within the CTs so that the, the XW knows that it needs to regulate its power. Let's take a jump over to the computer and look at the zero cell. All right, so here comes the exciting part. So we've all seen a, a system sell to the grid, right? That's nothing too exciting. But right here, we can see that we're selling 900 watts. And this is actually the XW Pro expediting power and selling to my other off-grid system. Now, you know, that's nothing, nothing that we haven't done before. But what's interesting here is that when we switch our page to our smart energy manager, this is actually the data that's being... Uh, when it grabs the data from the watt node, this is the, the feature called zero cell. What we actually see here is that the inverter is only selling 14%. Now what this is doing is it's regulating so that it doesn't expedite past, you know, 0% in cell. Like I have my system right now conservatively ran, running. Um, I'm only expediting up to 150 watts because I don't want to push power back to my batteries of my other off-grid system. But as we tailor this, we can actually run this closer and closer to zero. Um, and up here, this trip power of 50 watts, when it sees, when it gets close to 50, if it ever pushes past that, um, because of like loads, as loads turn it on and off, um, it can change the output power. As we get closer to this 50 watts, this will trip and then start a reset, tycle, a reset cycle. So we have like our trip time, how long it can see the 50 watts, and then how long it has to go after it trips uh, to before it can reset and start another cell. So again, this 14%, that's the interesting part because we're seeing it actually modulate the selling based off what the loads are in the house. Exciting stuff. Thanks for watching.